events to an echo sounder generated from Teledyne PDS. The steps to follow to set up echo sounder events in PDS. 1. We set parameters in the event page of the configuration. 2. We add an output driver to the equipment list and set the I.O. 3. If needed we set up the event settings on the echo sounder to receive the events from PDS. First have a look how to configure the event page. Open the configuration. Open the events page. Select the Enable Events checkbox. When you select the Follow Logging Enable checkbox, the events are only generated if the PDS logging is enabled. PDS can generate automatically events on time, distance and line distance. Manually from an external connected push button. Or a manual event in the acquisition. Select time to generate automatically events on the set time interval. Select distance to generate automatically an event on the set sale distance interval. Select line to generate automatically an event on the set sale distance interval along a run line, route or way line. In this example we generate automatic events with an interval of 10 seconds. The user can also use an external push button connected to the PDS computer. If he press the button and manual event is generated, Select the Generate Manual Event checkbox to use the external push button. One important note. For this configuration a push button device must be added to the equipment list of the vessel configuration. In this example of a equipment list is from the device group state. The push button device added. The push button was used to generate events. Press this button. To select the correct data source of the added push button device, it is possible to specify a condition on which the automatic event is generated. When this condition is true, press the condition button to specify a condition. Press the add button to add a condition. Select the data element. For example the GPS mode. Specify the condition to apply with in this example the equal to condition and specify the condition value. In this example RTK fixed. In this example is only a event generated if the GPS mode is RTK fixed. To remove a condition select the condition and press the remove button. The generation of automatic events or a push button event is set. The second step is to add the event output device driver and set the I.O. Open the configuration. Open the vessel configuration. Open the equipment page. Select the output device group. Different event output drivers are available. Each driver have a different event annotation. The DSO device drivers are serial drivers. This means you have to connect a serial cable between the PDS computer and the echo sounder. Remember, the driver determines the event annotation. For a different annotation you should use a different driver. The two echo track Ethernet drivers are used if you are connected to the Odom echo sounder by Ethernet cable connection. In this example we add the echo track driver. Select the driver and press the add button. Click on the added driver and press the I.O. port button. We have to set the correct I.O. In this example we will set up the I.O. for the Odom CV200 echo sounder. For the Odom CV200 echo sounder, we set the local port to 1600, set the address to 4 times 255 and set the host port to 1601, set the protocol to UDP. The Ethernet I.O. port settings for the Odom CV200 are set. Instead of Ethernet it is also possible to add a serial output event driver such as the DSO event. Let's add the DSO25 event driver. In this case you should connect a serial cable between the PDS computer and the Echo Sound a serial event port. You have to set the correct serial I.O. 
Select the driver and press the I.O. port button. Select the correct COM port of the PDS computer. Set the settings of the COM port the same as the settings of the event port of the Echo Sounder. In this case a baud rate of 38,400 board, 8 data bits and 1 stop bit. The last step is to set the settings correctly on the echo sounder if needed and see the events generated from PDS as shown. If we start the echo sounder control software, in this case the Adam E chart, we see the generated events. The events are routed back to the PDS echogram view. In the case we are interfaced by Ethernet to PDS we do not need to set anything in the Odom echo sounder. If we used a serial connection and driver for the events instead, then we have to set up the eventing for the Odom Echo Sounder. Press the device setup button. Open the communications page. The serial cable from the PDS computer should be connected to COM1 of the Odom Echo Sounder. Set the I.O. of COM1 to DSO string. And set the correct board rate. The events as received by the Odom Echo Sounder are routed back to PDS and showed in the Echogram view. The user can also generate manually an event by pressing the event button. Remember the events showed in the echogram view are the events received from the echo sounder. PDS sends the events to the echo sounder and not to the echogram view. In this movie we have seen how to generate events to an echo sounder.